Hello, I am your host. Welcome to History Tomorrow because today is almost over. I'd like to welcome our first guest, Harold Wellington. It's Harold Wellington III. Try that again, old sport. Harold Wellington III. Nice to meet you, too. Looking good. Feeling good. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have me on the show, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. <clears throat> Shall we begin? Yes, I would just like to ask you a couple questions about uh, counterculture. Please. Alright. What were some issues that were addressed during the counterculture movement? Well, some of the major issues included civil rights, hmm. the Vietnam War, drug use, and nonconformity. I was wondering if you could uh, explain part of the counterculture lifestyle. Ah, lifestyles focused on freedom, meditation, and yoga, but some believe drug use was also very popular. Drug use, you say? Yes. All right, can you talk about Woodstock a little bit? Ah, I mean, I personally love Woodstock. One of my favorite topics to discuss. Anyway, the Woodstock Music and Art Fair could be known for great music and freedom, but most remember for the chaos and rampant drug use from the enormous crowd of hoodlums. <laughs> Actually, there's scientific evidence proving the harmful effects of drugs on one's body. Oh, peaches! This is a travesty letting rowdy old timers into the studio like this. I am leaving. But before you leave! Very interesting. Uh, Mr. Wellington? Uh, sir, who are you? Take a seat, Mr. Chickens. Oh. oh, did you change your pants? Um, yes, it was hot. Well, let me tell you, I, I was at Woodstock, and I, and I was real into the counterculture movement when I was a youngin'. Hey, did you change your pants? Um, you already asked me that. Okay, but did you? Yes, I did. Could you tell us what you did during the counterculture movement? Oh, hi, yes. It was August of 1969, and I was at a totally psychedelic party, and let me tell you, I was grooving to the music. The grooviest crash band I've ever been to. Oh, hey, everybody. Oh, hey, man, take a seat. That's all right. So, I'm Gus Chiggins. Timothy Leary, nice to meet you. Timothy Leary? You're yeah. my idol. Oh, I can't believe me and Timothy Leary are at the same crash pad right now. Okay. It's groovy. Hey, I think you guys should try these. They're uh, very liberating and mind expanding. Oh, man. Pass it around, you yeah. know? Oh. Oh. Man. Whatever it was that Timothy Leary gave me totally is something that out. I enjoyed for a long, Whoa. long time. Whoa, this is aiding my mind expansion. Oh, man, this is liberating. Psychedelic. Oh. Whoa. Hey, man, there you go. Keep the bag. Timothy Leary, you're my hero. Yep, see you around. Oh. See ya. Wow, the dancing is so futuristic. Yeah, I caught the robot, so it would take off for about 15 years. Hey guys, there's a protest outside for war. What? Really? Let's go! Okay. So then we went to protest the Vietnam War. Good idea. 
idea comes this protest. Yeah. Make love, not war. Everybody just needs a hug. Leave Vietnam. Yeah. Hey guys, I heard there's this sweet concert up in New York over the weekend. It's like called Woodstock or something. Maybe you guys should go. Yeah. Count me in. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road And on our way to Woodstock, we ran into a little again. bit of trouble. Going places that I've never been.